everyone. So today we are learning how to do word problems. So this might be a little harder. Um, if you're having trouble reading the questions, then maybe get someone older to help you read it, but I want you to try and read it first. So the page that we're going to start on is this one here. So if you want to find that in your learning package. So let's read this one together here. So the first one, so what you're doing here is you're reading the question and then you're finding what word question uh, goes with that one. So you can cut them out and you can paste them together if you want or you can draw lines, whatever you'd like. So the first one says there are 34 bluebirds and 25 robins in a tree. How many birds are in the tree altogether? So when you are doing this, friends, all of these are addition questions, so you don't have to worry about that right now. But so you need to look at the numbers. So in this one, there are 34, even you can circle them or highlight them, 34 bluebirds and 25 robins in a tree. So now what we need to do, friends, is we need to look at the answers that they gave us here. What one has 34 and 25 in the equation? I want you to try and find that right now. Look at your page. What equation has 34 and 25 in it? Okay, so this one does here. 34 and 25. So you can answer this in whatever way you want. If you want to use a blank piece of paper and use your number lines, if you want to draw out the blocks, if you want to use pretzels and Cheerios as your tens and your ones, go for it. This is how you, you pick how you would like to solve these questions, okay? So Miss Johnson likes to stack them. So they are all stacked up for you here. You start in the ones position, right? You always start in the ones. So you go 4 plus 5. So what's 4 plus 5? You can draw it out. You can say it in your head. Start at 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right? Then you go to your tens position. 3 plus 2. Put 3 in your head and count two more. 3, 4, 5. So 59. So this goes with that one. So how many birds are in the tree together? There's 59 birds all in the tree. All right, let's try the other one. This next one, there are 30 days in June and 31 days in July. How many days all together in these two months? So I want you to look at that and I want you to circle the two numbers that you are adding together. What numbers would you add together in this equation? All right. So you can highlight them, you can circle them. <clears throat> All right, so there are 30 days in June, so 30 is one of ours, and 31 days in July. July 31st is actually my birthday. So let's find what equation here has the numbers 30 and 31 in it. What one? has 30 and 31 in it. This one, right? 30 and 31. So we start with our ones. If you want to draw it out, if you want to use a number line, do whatever is best for you. So zero and one, that's really easy. We're sticking with a one. And then three plus three is six. So your answer is 36. You can draw your line or you can cut them out and put them together. Up to you. I want you to try the next three out on your own there. If you have any questions, please email me. All right, so this one, it's not giving you the answers, friends. You have to come up with the answers by yourself. So let's read this question here. There are 24 red apples in a basket and 32 green apples. So how many apples are in the basket altogether? So what are our two numbers that we are working with? There are 24 
circle the number 24, apples in a basket, and there are 32 green apples. All right, so those are our two numbers that we are working with. And we were putting together, we're seeing how many apples are all together. So we are adding still. So you can actually put it together some different ways, friends. You can stack them, right? So 24 plus 32, you can stack it like this. Or you can even put it 32 plus 24. It doesn't matter what way you write it, it's both the same way. In addition, you'll get the same answer both ways. If you want to draw this out too, feel free to. There's lots of room on this page where you can work out your questions there. So then let's start with the first one. So 2 plus 4, right? Or 4 plus 2. What is 2 plus 4? We're starting in the 1's position. 2 plus 4 is 6. And then we have 3 plus 2. Okay, if you need to use a counting, put 3 in your head. 4, 5. So they have 56 apples in their basket. All right, let's try this one over here. There are 36 boys and 41 girls in the playground. How many children are in the playground together? So I want you to circle on your page what numbers we are putting together and try and put it together by yourself. All right, I want you to try that on your own. All right, so you should have circled 36 and 41. Now you can put your equations together however you would like. I am stacking them still. So in our ones position, we have one and six. So we are adding one and six, which gives us seven. And then in our tens position, we have a four and a three. And that also equals seven. So your answer, there is 77 children on the playground. So friends, for the next two, you're doing the same thing. You are figuring out how many are in the, how many marbles they have and how many animals does all Old McDonald have. Then this one at the bottom, friends, it gives you the question already. It says 60 plus 38. So it's asking you, can you write a story for the sum? So you are coming up with your own story. It can be how many bugs do we have in the garden? It can be how many different flowers are outside? It can be how many cats and dogs you have? You can write your own story. I want you to send a picture of your story to your teacher and solve it as well, okay? So that is your job for today. You have these two pages and then send this question to your teacher. All right. Then for tomorrow's, you are working on these. So what you can do friends is you can cut them out <coughs> and then, so you read them. It says Bernice Bot has 20 bolts. She gets 30 more bolts. How many bolts does Bernice have all together? So we're looking at the numbers. Okay, how many bolts does she have? She has 20 and then she gets 30 more. So you're gonna cut it out and then on the back you are going to solve it. So you have 20 plus 30. And then there's so much more room on here, friends. For you to draw it out so if you want to draw out your um your base 10 blocks you can do that miss johnson's going to do that for this one so 20 you don't even have any ones in this position in this question right you only have tens so see i have two 10 blocks plus three 10 blocks so what does that equal? 
Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And because it's a 10 block, we don't just leave it like this. We have to put our zero because it's in the tens position. It is not in the ones position. So that is all for today. That is your lesson on how to do word problems. Um, there is quite a few pages that do have word problems on it. So if you want to do a few today and a few tomorrow, that's totally fine. You have all the time to do that. And if you need any help, please reach out and I will help you as much as I can. We can video chat and we can do a few questions together if you need to. I hope all is well and have a great rest of your day.